but let's go right. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to install the HyperPro suspension upgrade. Um, I got a parcel this week, ordered it about a month ago. So, I haven't opened the box yet. This is the street kit that I've ordered for, uh, from HyperPro. So it's a uh, front and a rear shock with a progressive spring in it. Uh, what I've seen, the exchange should not be too difficult. So we're gonna find out. But first I'm gonna open the, the package, see what's inside. Manual, probably won't read that yet. Okay, let's look what's inside. I think this is a brochure. Ja, yeah, it's a brochure. Some merchandise, I guess. Scarfer on the bike. Tools. So that's a disadvantage. I will need to have I need to find a spot for these on the bike. But it should be okay. Should be able to find a spot somewhere. Some stickers. Another small tool, small Allen key. Don't need to find a spot for that. And then instruction sheets. Um, and the manual. So, that's the boring stuff. Get it out of the way. Too much trash. And then the fun stuff. I believe this is the front shock. see spacing here between the coils is a lot bigger than on the top so it's a progressive spring looks really nice so that's one and then this one is the rear shock some more tools The rear shock, same. There's less space in the coils on the bottom than on the top. This is the hydraulic preload adjuster. Uh, it really, really look ni looks nice. Okay, let's see what's in the final package. Ooh. I think this is the stuff to. There's a new bracket for the hydraulic preload adjuster. Now, the fun part, let's put it on the bike. So, I'll start with the rear one, the rear shock. Probably the most difficult one. We'll see how easy it is. So, first take off the seat, and then we'll see. So here we have the top bolt. So we need to take out the two brackets for the seat before we can actually remove the bolt.
now taking the weight of the back wheel. And it should drop right out. So that's one bolt. Now the question is, are we gonna get it out without removing the back wheel? We'll see. And without lowering the exhaust. Exhaust needs to be dropped off as well. Do we get it out? I don't think so. Back wheel needs to come off as well. Next thing is the hydraulic preload adjuster that needs to come off. But it should be simpler because I yeah, removed it in the past. And there we have one rear shock. So now let's fit the new shock, see how it looks. Between the airbox and the fuse box there's a small gap about, now what is it, one centimeter. And that's actually where you need to route the, uh, if the line for the hydraulic preload adjuster. Took a bit of uh, fiddling to, uh, to find that out. And there's a special bracket for the new uh, hydraulic preload adjuster. Rear side's done. Next one, front side. Shouldn't be too much work. Should be easier than the, the one on the back. Bit of a fight with the GoPro, so hopefully everything's on it. But for the, uh, for the front side, it's pretty easy. Just remove the tank. Then there's a bolt on top and there's a bolt on the bottom that you can take out quite easily. And then you can reinstall the, you can install the new one. Let's put the bushing on. <laughs> and try again. So, nah. Put the lower bolt in again. A lot easier. Hopefully the preset, the standard preload is sufficient because it will be a bit of a hassle 
I don't think we can uh, adjust the preload on the front side on the fly. So, that looks a lot better. Put the tank back on and then next time I will check the other of the sack of the bike. I'll make a move that as well. But I think this one <laughs> was long enough already. So next video I will adjust the sack, the static sack. And then we after that we can go for a ride. So if you enjoyed this video, put your thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye!